Hey, we're Sam and Kelly. And if you're new here, we have spent the last few weeks hiking the Camino de Santiago on our honeymoon. It's kind of wild, I'm not gonna lie. Come with us on our last week as we complete this incredible pilgrimage across Spain. We are literally minutes away. Day 10 on the Camino de Santiago. Today we're going to Palas de Rai. I've been actually calling it Playa del Rey. Very California of me. If you couldn't tell, I am so tired today. We have five more days on this Camino. Well, let's get going. Just a few more people than the first half, right? Just a few. It's rainy, it's wet. So I'm actually very happy with our decision to only walk 15 kilometers today. Only. This Camino is so funny. My longest hike I ever did was 15 kilometers before this hike. It's pretty cool how quick your body can adjust to the insane workload that you put through it every single day. Okay, look to your right, left. Look to your left. Oh my God. Two days in a row. That rainbows are how you know that miracles exist because rainbows make literally no sense. I don't need to hear the science, they make no sense. And that's how you know miracles exist. Don't actually explain it to me. I want to believe in miracles. 100%. are all the clothes that we hand washed yesterday and they literally are all soaking wet so I took everything out of my underwear and sock. This is gonna hold all of our wet clothes. It is significantly heavier than it usually is. This dry fit stuff that we got is dry fit, not quick dry. One door opens while another one closes. That's how it always goes. Three days left on the Camino. That's crazy. this morning to you an update from our boys from Kelly's parents look I don't know if you can see but it's some running on the beach he's thriving right now he's doing better than we are now we just need to find where the trail is starting gotta look for the signs so for the first time in 14 days we are actually having a very difficult time trying to figure out how to start it is 9 30 this is the latest we've ever left on the Camino so there's not really anyone to follow we were being a little bit drama. We couldn't find it for a few seconds. There was a sign right there that told us we were going the right way, but it was supposed to be raining today. The sun's out, the stress is out of the way. Hopefully the day ends up being as beautiful as it looks outside right now. Oh, I'm getting a lifetime of back pain for this. Is that a Labrador? I think that's an honorary good boy. Oh, well, hello. Oh, Sunny and Boo Boo. Oh my gosh, it looks like Sunny and Boo Boo. Got it. You can spot a Labrador a mile away. A mile away. We've actually been coming across this quite a lot. There's two ways that you could go. You can either go left or right. There's two signs telling us to go right, and there's only one sign going telling us to go left. So maybe we'll go right. Kelly, less than 50 kilometers till we get there. Is this what I think it is? Finally, right as I'm finishing my snack, we find coffee. Big wolf. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you're, you're, you're tipping it. Oh no. I just spilled coffee all over the croissant. They'll probably make it taste better. <laughs> what I was gonna say was it's a big mood changer. Taking off our backpacks, just relaxing and enjoying this dewy morning weather. Perfection. Why is my posture the way it is right now? I don't know. So supposedly when you get to Saria, if you only go from Saria to Santiago, you need to get two stamps per day or else you can't get your Compostela. You've heard from a lot of people, it actually doesn't matter. They just like don't really care too much, but it's actually really fun to get the stamp. So I'm gonna get another stamp right here before we get the Compostela. Well, that was fierce. Thank you. It's raining. Pretty hard. Gotta get our rain ponchos on. Gotta do this fast down. because the camera is gonna get damaged. 
We look pretty cool. I've never looked better. This is honestly one of the best purchases we made for this Camino because it's the fall time. I think any time of year, honestly. Also, we are in the Galatian part of Spain, which is a rainforesty climate. So it's naturally going to rain all of the time. It feels just like forever. I can't remember. have like 20 minutes left. So we gotta check into our albergue, see what the situation is. Are we here? Oh, okay. Look, there's a wall. We have a wall, no one, this is our own privacy. Space. So here's our little bunk bed situation. Pretty satisfied with the setup. We don't ask for much. Just a little bit of privacy is always nice. Wait a second, look at the bathroom. This is the girl's bathroom. Okay, this is extremely nice for 12 euros a person. What a beautiful day we've been having. We did 14 kilometers on the Camino. We had a delicious meal. Because our day was a little bit shorter than normal, we actually got to the town a little bit earlier. The sun's out, so we're gonna actually explore around. A lot of times when we've been getting to town, we're so tired that we'll take like a couple hours to chill and then mm -hmm. we just get dinner. So we don't really get a chance to explore too much, but we're gonna walk around a little bit right now. Cozy time. Sometimes these hostels will give you like a sheet and a pillowcase that you put on yourself. These are actually the nicest quality ones. Normally they're like hospital papery. Let's make our beds. Shower time. So many signs of the tune today. We love you, Toonie, if you're watching at home. Ooh, fresh pears. So that's the Fresh plum. plums. We are at the grocery store trying to get a couple snacks for tomorrow because luckily today the food was amazing, but it's been it's been very dodgy whether the food will be good on the Camino or not. So we're gonna make sure we have the appropriate snacks so we can have a great Camino tomorrow because we only got two days left. One of the reasons we booked this hostel is because it supposedly has a great menu del dia, which is the menu of the day for pilgrims. So it's like a fixed price, usually around like 12 euros to 15 euros. And it's a three course meal with wine it's not usually that tasty of food because they're just trying to fill you up not necessarily make your taste buds explode but this hostel in particular apparently has a really good one all right we're gonna go brush our teeth and go to sleep we'll see you all in the morning two more days less than 40 kilometers to santiago it's my comfort then you gotta be comfortable today we got a big day Wow, so it is a dark one outside. Show the sky. Also, it's 8.30. 8.30 is actually a little bit late to be starting our day because we have such a big day ahead of us. 22 kilometer day, but we're already on a great start because we had our soy lattes first thing in the morning. So your girl is in a good mood. And I mean, it's our second to last day. We are just gonna focus on soaking it all in and being super present today. It's kind of wild, I'm not gonna lie. It's getting chilly. Okay, we've been walking for about an hour and when we were packing for the Camino, I bought this deck of cards for couples or for friends or whatever and they have like interesting conversation starters. Okay, stop. If you could trade places with anyone else in the world, who would it be? For a day, for one day. I'm gonna think about that one for a sec. Yeah, I need to think about this for a sec. So I have Kelly's answer. She would pick one of the Kardashians on a holiday or just a day where the whole house is filled with flowers. <laughs> okay. That is exactly, also I'm gonna say I would like to switch with Kelly's parents dog, Pula. I think that's the, the, the winner. Okay, now I'm gonna pick a card. What makes me angrier than it should? When I'm picking my face, aggressively. I thought you were gonna say when I lose something. Oh, when, okay, when Kelly loses something, especially when she feels like uh, she shouldn't have lost it, oh, it's over. That is hilarious. And that's happened a couple times on the Camino because we're unpacking and packing our backpacks so many times. So I've lost a couple key things. Hi. Say, say, Buen Camino, everyone. Buen Camino, Buen Camino. Go is your channel, YouTube. Sam and Kelly. Sam and, Sam and Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. Oh, thank oh, yeah. you. Uh, Buen Camino, friends. Buen Camino, all right. Thank <laughs> you. 
poncho time. I think we have seven and a half kilometers left, something like that. The weather is just, it's not great right now. A Scottish guy we just talked to said it reminds him of living in Scotland. Kelly, we're trapped. You have to climb a tree cell. That's right. How should I do this? Oh, with a big ass backpack. Okay, you made that look very easy. Smooth. Kelly, what did we just come across? Less than 20 kilometers, baby. Right? These fancy ones are always interesting, am I right? This is the smallest elevator of all time. Are we both gonna fit in here? It's a... Oh my god, look, it's closing on you. It says maximum four people, but basically that means two people with two backpacks. My feet hurt so bad. Best part of the day about to happen. Look, how gross. Oh. oh. <sighs> also, did you notice that our room is Texas themed? Oh my god, it is! USA Motor Oil! So there's only three rooms in this pension, and I noticed that they're all randomly themed. Like one is a Madrid theme, and then one is a Texaco theme. So I don't know if it was ironic or not that we got Texaco, but I cannot believe that tomorrow is our last day. We have another 20 kilometer day tomorrow, so there's gonna be a lot of challenging moments, but I think they're all gonna feel easier because we know we're so close to the end. We're gonna shower, get food, you know the drill by now. We'll see you tomorrow for our last day on the Camino. Insane. Good morning, guys. It's our last day on the Camino. Let's go. It's already raining. It's really dark out this morning, and we have been in search of a coffee shop. Even on the last day. It's not a big deal, obviously, but it's just like, such is life on the trail. Sam's using his headlamp to give me some lighting right now. It is pitch black. It's not even that early in the morning, you guys. It's like eight. We're probably gonna be walking in the dark for another hour. Sam has informed me because of the region that we're in in Spain, the sun rises later over here than it does in like Barcelona or in the beginning of our Camino. Sam's loving it. He's obsessed with his headlamp. Okay. So this is giving him all the feels right now. I'm feeling like a wilderness explorer. This is incredible. Sweet awesome. baby Jesus. That Fuck. looks like a really good one. That might be like a and cup. And some oat milk lattes. Miramor. Last 17.5 kilometers. Last chocolate croissant on the Camino. I told Sam we have to end it how we started. Oh yeah. <laughs> We started in the town of Pedroza last night, which is 20 kilometers from Santiago. We have walked five kilometers already. Seems like the pilgrims are in amazing chipper moods today. Everyone's really excited. It's last day of camp, or last day until Santiago, and just everyone's really excited. So we've been on this Camino for 16 days now, and this is one of the most beautiful days. The forecast yesterday in the morning was that it was gonna rain all day long. Woke up today, that it wasn't even really gonna rain. It feels very symbolic that today is one of the most beautiful days of our entire Camino. No matter where you started on the Camino, excitement is in the air. You know, some people do it for just the last couple of days. Some people do it for seven days. Some people do it for two weeks. Our philosophy is as long as we're getting out there and doing it, that's truly all that matters. And if you've done the Camino and you're watching this and we did it a different way than you've done it, that's awesome. We can share our experiences with each other. So if you're out here and you're like, I can really only do a couple of days. Are people gonna judge me for that? Absolutely not. Everyone is so excited for each other and cheering each other on. Really, the only times I see negative feedback about people's journey on the Camino is on YouTube or on the internet. Or if you have done it, I think a lot of people take pride in their experience and feel like if you didn't do it a similar way, then your way is wrong. But again, if you're out here on the Camino, you're pushing it, you're doing something adventurous, and we are proud of you. And if you've never done this, but you want to do it someday, that's amazing. And that's why we are here filming our experience. We want to be 
a resource for you. And we really did this Camino for an adventure. That's pretty much it. And travel in a different sort of way on foot through Spain. We've been kind of hauling ass, so we pulled over just now to pee and share a coffee. We're gonna tweak out today. What's kind of cool is it seems like all the coffee shops on the last day here on the Camino, like the name of the coffee shops will be how many kilometers you have left. So the last coffee shop was called 15K, and then this one's called Last 12K. It's kind of cool, it's like all specifically for the pilgrims. Let's keep going. Cheers. Well, that didn't last long. It is now absolutely pouring. These ponchos really are one of the best purchases we've made on the Camino. Less than 10 kilometers to go though. The Camino give it, the Camino take it. The Camino said, oh, you're having too much fun today. It's just too much good weather, too much joy. Let's fender on you. Let's humble you. You can never have it too easy. All part of the experience, am I right? All part of the experience. You got it all planned out, love. Every day of our life. Start by waking you up. Well, we have certainly made it to the city. <laughs> wow. We'll head into the kitchen. Arriving in Santiago de Compostela is such a surreal feeling. We have spent the last 16 days walking across Spain to get to this moment. It's hard to put into words what this feels like. I think we see the top of the cathedral. Words to make me see. I'll never be the same. We are literally minutes away. To me, what you done to me. Oh my god, do you hear that? The bagpipe player means that we're here. shoulders from my backpack oh my god it is surreal to have reached the end of our Camino. We pushed ourselves in ways we never imagined and created memories to last a lifetime. We have such an appreciation for this historic pilgrimage. We loved being able to bring you with us on our journey as we showed you our experience on the Camino de Santiago. This adventure is now complete. Now it's time for the next one.